guys. <laughs> that was a bit premature. The live button was pushed before I got uh, to our spot, so. Welcome. Now the cat's out of the bag, you know where we are. We're at Roasted Coffee Laboratory. In Shibuya. Hey, Megan. Carrie, hello. Hey, guys. Yeah, I just got here. Hey, Yenny. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening. It's almost noon here in Tokyo. We've got 30 minutes to check out this place uh, before I have a job just around the corner at uh, NHK. So this is called Coffee, Roasted Coffee Laboratory. And you can see over here, it really is like a laboratory. They've got these beakers and it's a pretty slick place. You can kind of see around here. Pretty cool. But we're here for one reason, as usual, for the cappuccino. Let's find out just how yummy it is. We're gonna go outside in a minute. I'll show you kind of around this area. Uh, there's a lot of high fashion places in these back streets of Shibuya. You would never find John Dobb here, I can promise you that. Let's take a look at the. Uh, I put a little love in my cappuccino. It's kind of a. It's a. It's a broken heart. It's a broken heart. But hey, any kind of heart is okay in my book. Greetings, JB. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Good day, Zena, warrior housewife. Rashid. Hello, guys. And cheers. From Roasted Coffee Laboratories. Mm. That's nice. So this is, a, um, this is a blend. Their beans are, which I've never had before, Mexican. Ethiopia and Colombia. That's their, their own private blend. I think it's called the Fire Street Blend here at this roastery. Um, they have four shops, I think three of which are in, no, in Shibuya Ku. One that's this, we're in Shibuya right now. Um, and then there's one actually, actually in uh, Ikebukuro as well, which I didn't know about. So, greetings and welcome. Yeah, very interesting uh, combination of beans. I've never had Mexico before. You bet, Mac. My pleasure, my pleasure. And somebody actually shouted out this place. They told me about it, and I, the name didn't click, but actually I had been here before. Um, but I don't know if the name was the same when I first came here, but it's, uh, it's a little different. Hey, Matt, everybody's good. Barney's Genki, everybody's Genki. Thank you for asking. A little sour. It's probably it's the lighting, I think. Let's see if I can give you some, a little better lighting. There is it less sour now. We'll go outside and I'll have some really good lighting and all the uh, paparazzi will turn up. Um, yes, it's really lousy lighting here. So, any comments on my hair? Seen that warrior housewife? But yeah, so if, I forget the guy's name who uh, told me about um, Roasted Coffee Laboratories here in Shibuya, but thank you for reminding me. Um, I'm just working around the corner, just right over here at NHK from one of my regular programs. And uh, I set my alarm 
for about 30 minutes. So we have about 30 minutes to hang here. And, uh, and then I'll take you uh, outside and we'll check out the neighborhood a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of get all my goodies ready to roll so we can head outside shortly. Um, but it's kind of a cool place. Let's take a look around here. Yeah, it's, it is a nice place. It's very spacious. It's a very big place. So just just out over here is uh, where a lot of these fashion houses are. Um, and uh, there's, there's just not a lot of people that walk around this area here, which is great. Um, it's surprising there was a fair number of people uh, when, I, when I showed up, so I'm kind of keeping a low profile as we do. Uh oh, there's somebody coughing. Maybe it's time to go. That doesn't sound like a good cough either. And we'll take this outside. Let's take it outside. Just one moment. I'll pack my belongings. Hey, Anil. Hello. So bear with me. I'm just gonna stuff this in here. All right, so I'm gonna spin you guys around here. We'll take a look. Uh, just wait a minute. Zoom out quickly. But yeah, here's the. One. This is the roaster here. You can see the roaster. And there's all the, uh, that's where all the creatures are created from those beakers there. And now roasting Brazil Cafe Dolce, Ethiopia, Guatemala, and Indonesia. That's a pretty slick place. Let's make our way outside. Take a look at that menu here. So sad. Got their own coffees. right here. All right. So if you're just joining us, this is the Peter Von Gaum Japan Live channel. We're in Shibuya at uh, Roasted Coffee Laboratories as part of our Best Cappuccino in Tokyo series. I used to call it a competition, but it's no longer a competition. It's just finding really good cappuccinos in lots of different neighborhoods of Tokyo. And so far, the majority of the places we have been have been in Shibuya. I work in Shibuya very often. There's lots of studios here. So I'm here often, and uh, there's just lots of really good coffee shops. So um, we, uh, we're here again in Shibuya and I think we're gonna wrap it up for Shibuya unless something really stunning comes along. Um, Fuglen, I've mentioned that, we went by Fuglen before, but there's just always a lot of people there and they don't, frankly they don't need the business. I'm trying to uh, find some less populated places. I'm kind of shy and I don't like, it's always hard to get this zoomed out. Um, I don't like to be in really populated places and you know, we get we get in trouble like we did on Joji's birthday shopping Palooza at uh, Don Quixote they got a little bit upset with us so uh, trying to keep it keep it low profile 
uh, yeah, there you have it. So I had a, a very big week planned for you guys and for, for me and everybody. Um, I was going to ride my motorcycle to Izu and show you some of the awesome areas in Izu. Uh, and I booked a really nice Yokan hotel. And uh, then I checked the weather and a typhoon's coming in. So what a bummer, man. I'm so, I was, I actually, I was gonna then rent a car and it just, it just didn't pan out. The, the, I would have had to rush it and going way down to Izu and back in uh, just one night, it's not worth it. So we're gonna do it again. So uh, hold your horses until probably November. I'll try again. And they have these really great campaigns on right now uh, that the government is is subsidizing, which you probably have heard about, called uh, Go To Travel. And uh, they give you 35% off of your hotel, which is awesome. So you get these really cheap, it's a KTM, I would missed it. You can get some really nice hotels for a very sizable discount. And uh, who doesn't love discounts? So, uh, yeah, we can do that again. Try that again, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe even later in October, but for sure in November, we'll be out and about and uh, we'll do uh, Izu. So, hey, Tim, thank you. I need, I need if you can drink it. So enjoy it for the both. Oh, thank you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that. Much obliged, much obliged. Yeah, we'll drink it for both of us. And it's actually a really good cappuccino. It's not the best one I've had in this series. I will say that, but it's good. It's good. Um, interesting bean combination, like we talked about, the Mexico, it's Guatemala, Mexico, and Ethiopia. Was that Colombia? Colombia, Ethiopia, and uh, Mexico. Odd. Number six was the best. Is that what you said? That was the last one. Where was that? That was, uh, uh, oh, that was Camelback. Camelback. Are you a Camelback stockholder? Why would you say that one's the best? Hmm? My eye starts to twitch when I detect people trying to up their shares. Hey, Brian, welcome. My number one choice so far, good question, good question. Well, and th this, this one's actually really good too. Um, I was kind of half joking, but it's, it's not my favorite um, of, the, of the series so far. I would say, um, hmm, 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 hmm. Supreme was the first one. Inn was really good. And I, what I like about Inn, is that they give you a choice of two shots or one for the same price. And if you really need a jolt, then that's that's really a welcome news. You know, we, we it's rare that you get a uh, that kind of a an extra for free, especially at the big coffee houses like you know, Starbucks and stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, Irv. Vin, did I get it right? <laughs> hey, I wasn't the one that had it wrong. So, <laughs> but I do. I can. It does have a nice ring to it, or Vaughn, because you know I'm Peter Von Gom, after all. But yeah, Irvin. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, as always. Yeah. Well, John has a very charming way of, and he doesn't do this deliberately either, but he has a, he has a charm, it's a charm about him that he, he butchers pronunciations. So Irvon, don't take it personally. It's happened to many people, many foods. My favorite was um, when he was talking about, you know, that uh, the Italian uh, pasta, it's like a, made from potato and, and uh, it's, <laughs> he called it, Ginocchi or something like that. Ginocchi. It's I think it's Noki is the is the the real pronunciation. But people in Italy were like putting out hits on this guy. There was you know there was a price on his head. 
Hey, t hey, Raymond. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Uh, yeah. Well, we have we have a good time together. John and I, we go way back, and we we kind of we fight like siblings. We bicker, and we snap at each other, on camera and off camera. But we both know that at the end of the day, we're still going to be pals and uh, we forgive each other and move on. So uh, that's good. It's good energy. We have fun, you know, uh, when, when we're together, especially in those live streams. We, we work well together in that way. Um, so, yeah, thank you. And he's, he is, uh, yeah, I think, and Ramsey's and JB, thank you guys as always. Thank our moderators for uh, keeping things flowing smoothly. Speaking of JB, how is your cash flow these days? I'm not sure what that's all about. But we'll, uh, we'll walk out here in a minute and I'll, we'll walk around the streets. I'm gonna try to finish this drink. Oh, now in a cup of coffee. What do you think that means? Now in a cup of coffee. Hmm. Roasted Coffee Laboratory. Now in a cup of coffee. Hmm. We may have to uh, explore that a little deeper. So this is one of the the shops over here across the street. Cash and Chaos. This was uh, one of the, the fashion places I was telling you about. Um, there's actually another part of Shibuya where it's it, where they're actually the fashion designers are working and they have their their shops and they have the models in there trying out, uh, trying on the fashions and measuring and blah 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 blah. And that's further up this way. There's there's quite a few shops and there's it's, another area is uh, um, Aoyama. You see a lot of these kind of fashion houses. Um, but over here, there's a couple, and there's a lot of, of uh, nice, kind of pretty pricey clothing stores that are that are off the beaten track. So, uh, and let's do it now. Let's walk because I have my job is starts in one half hour, um, and uh, I set my alarm for twelve fifteen so that I make sure that we aren't tardy. Who's going back to sleep, Irvin? Are, are you, did I wake you up? Sorry. Thank you for getting up. If you are going back to sleep. Thank you. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I like pawn shops too. The other day I, I mentioned my Les Paul guitar, which I got at a pawn shop. I think I've gotten a couple of uh, guitars at pawn shops, so. Um, let me throw this in the garbage and we'll be on our way. These are kind of cool. I like these little, you can make your own. Um, they've got drip packs. This is, what, this is what we just had. The Fire Street Blend, which is Mexico... Uh, Ethiopia and uh, Colombia, I believe it was. Really nice blend. But I like these things. I've been kind of thinking about getting one of these because the real coffee geeks, they've got all kinds of different contraptions. And it's really funky how this works, how the, the water boils up through, it creates air pressure and it bubbles up into here. So, all right. Onwards. Got my bags here. Let's take a little walk, guys. So again, this was a roasted coffee laboratory in Shibuya. The, uh, the link is in the description of this, this video. 
and you can uh, check it out for yourself when you come to Tokyo and, and specifically come to Shibuya and there are there are other chains um, in uh, in this area and are in Tokyo and, and Ikebukuro let's kind of walk up here this was a park it used to be a park here and now it looks like they've uh, preparing it for some kind of building Oof. Oh, there's another cafe. Oh, wow. I didn't know about this one. This is called The Hive. We might have to come here. Shoot, we're never going to leave Shibuya with this series. So, as you see below The Hive, we are in the Jinan area. This, this area is called Jinan in Shibuya. And it's kind of northwest. Is that right? Northeast, maybe. Northwest? Anyhow, it's north-ish of Shibuya Station very near the Apple store. So if you look for the Apple store, you'll know that you're in the right place. But this looks like a pretty funky, funky cafe. Uh, the Hive, Jinan. They've got, oh, they have art. There's art on the wall in here. There's an art exhibition. Let's see here. There's an art show. Uh, new art exhibition, Nanami. So they have changing art, it looks like. Pizza. Another good piece. Oh, it's a nice, nice space. I like this wood deck. In Japanese, they call it wood decky. It actually is, looks like the same. I have this exact same wood on my deck. It's from... Uh, it's a rainforest wood that's ecologically sourced. Don't give me any, don't roll your eyes or shame me for that. It's fallen, fallen rainforest sourced wood, maybe something. Hey, hello, Ida? Can't see. Yeah, nice to see you. Hello, welcome glasses shop those are funky I like these I like this frame although I don't think it would look good on me the round that round style I like the look of them but on me it's just the shape of my face doesn't fit so lots of funky little shops through here and if we go up around the corner you will see where we are. If you are familiar with Shibuya, this is another cafe here and it's a co-working office. So you have to become a member. So don't be, don't be fooled by trying to come in and get a coffee. It's called Laugh Out. Because um, it's, it's a shared space. I made that mistake. Wow, look at this ice cream cone, Jesus. Totally defying gravity. Look at that. Ooh. Holy moly. I would get one if I wasn't uh, before lunch, but I'm not going to get one. Starbucks. Pshia. You will never be in my best cappuccino in Tokyo series. I can promise you that. So just down here is the Apple store, down the street here. So that's kind of where we are. The uh, Disney store also is right down the street. So all the way straight, off to the right is Shibuya Station. So now that you got your bearings, let's kick it through the streets a little bit. Here is a item. They sell watches and stuff. Lots of eateries. That's cute. Right. 
There's a lot of really interesting subcultures in Japan. And you, you sometimes will see these shops that are like 1940s stuff, 40s fedoras and, and jackets and pants. And, uh, you know, people, and they're, they're popular. There's a lot of people that, uh, that like to, to live in the, uh, in the past. I saw a guy in a, an old 40s jalopy recently, just cruising down the street. Oh yeah, hey Irvin, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, actually, uh, I, I mentioned that in the, uh, this is a cool shop, um, in the stream earlier. Yeah, the, the, the rain came. The rain came and I had to change. Ooh. This will put you off pork. Compliment, complimentary colored pigs. Jason, you still with us? Yeah, I, as I mentioned, there was a, there's a typhoon coming and sometimes they changed course, but the rain and wind oftentimes will, will still lash uh, Tokyo and the, the area where I was going is, was easier. It looked like it was a, a relatively direct hit. So I just don't, I don't like to ride in the rain. It's just, it takes total joy out of it for me. Um, a lot of bikers still do it, but it's just not, and especially if we're filming, I wanted to film some videos and do a drone fly through some of these awesome beaches in Izu. But we're still gonna do it. We're just not gonna do it uh, this week. However, however, I am going away this weekend with my family to Yamanashi. And uh, I'm gonna get up early, probably on Sunday morning. We leave, we're going there on Saturday. And uh, probably Sunday morning, I'm gonna do a, a drone, live drone, uh, Satsue filming. This place is really popular, Luke's Lobster. I've tried it and I didn't really care for it, but uh, yeah. We don't want to see all the commercial stuff. Um, so I'll, we'll, uh, we'll do some streams over the weekend around John's fireworks show. As all of you know, John has his uh, fireworks show this weekend and uh, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. I was really hoping I could go with him, but because, uh, because of the, my, my family trip to Yamanashi, I couldn't do it. So have you guys ever wondered what a, a bright orange pig's butt looks like? Now you know. So all you folks with bright orange pig butt fetishes, today's your lucky day. Oh, and they've got a kiss mark just below it. Halloween piggy, yeah. Interesting shops. Yeah, so these are the kind of, there's just these, they're really kind of unique clothing shops back here in the Jinan Street. We won't go inside, we don't have a lot of time, but you can kind of see they've got, uh, they've got some interesting clothing and hats and stuff that you don't see uh, in a lot of parts of Tokyo and a lot of parts of the world. Pilgrim Surf and Supply. More casual clothes. Oh, this is cool. Well, they actually do have, they've got surfboards and, and rudders. What do you call those rudders, I guess? But yeah, some funky stuff. And we're gonna kind of start making our way Oh, and another place here. 
That's a funky jacket. Look at that. Can you see that through the glare? I don't know if you can see that. Shoot. It's really... Eh, it's hard to see. You can't see it. Too bad. At nighttime, you can see that. Um, so I am thinking of staying at a very unique hotel. Because I'm not going to Izu, I'm thinking of staying a night tomorrow night at a very unique hotel here in Tokyo. And uh, because it's so cheap and there's just nobody here, there's no tourists. And now is like the, the golden time to do it. So I think I'm gonna do it and I will, uh, I'll post some sort of shout shout out and, and announcement that I'm doing it and, and uh, Jason um, it should be fun so it's a really cool spot and I'm just I'm very curious I don't want to blow the the uh, the surprise so you just have to wait and see where we go but uh, it, it could be fun it could be fun and there's lots of little interesting like a craft beer place downstairs from this hotel and, and uh, yeah, I'm just really curious about it. I saw it the other day, and uh, I just wonder if it's if it's uh, quiet enough. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's in a very noisy area, and I just wonder if I will get a sound sleep staying in this hotel. I. Uh, So this is uh, this is NHK over here on the right. This is where we're headed now for my job. And uh, yeah. There's often times different uh, like uh, food shows and stuff that are in this area here you often like the Thai food festival and uh, Earth Day festival all kinds of stuff goes on right here and NHK is right over here NHK Hall is down over here and we're gonna wait make our way in down here we just came from there's my alarm going off. Give me one second. Yeah, we just came from over here. This is where we were, just down around the corner at uh, Roasted Coffee Laboratory. And that was a pretty good coffee, good, pretty good cappuccino. Oops, sorry. That was a really good cappuccino. Um, again, not my favorite. I think so far, of our seven places we have been, the majority have been in Shibuya. But I would say in is probably the standout. Um, they've all been good. They're all really good. For flavor, I, just, I really liked, I liked in. Um, but again, they're, they're all good and, and uh, this is not a competition. You should take my word at face value. A sour face value, according to Zena. Do I still look sour? Hope not. I gotta go show my face inside NHK now. So, stay tuned. Um, I think tomorrow we will be staying at the hotel and I will uh, be doing a solo trip there and I'm gonna make a video. So I'll, I'll maybe do a live stream. Otherwise I'll post on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please be sure and uh, follow me on Instagram. And if you like these live streams, be sure and uh, subscribe to the channel, click the notification so you get notified. There's a reason for this, so that you get notified when 
a live stream begins or when a live stream has been scheduled or when a video has been uploaded. So, all right, we're gonna head in here to my job. This is, this is where I go to work, often, NHK. If I can get this hand around here, you can see it. There it is. So we're gonna go in there. I've got a, uh, today is an educational job. Um, and it's, it's good fun. I'm with, I'm with some people that I, that I uh, have a good time with. So we, uh, we do this program together. Um, and it's always nice to be able to record with your colleagues rather than alone, which is often the time, often the case. We're often alone when we're recording here, um, as most voice actors are, unless you're doing an, an animation or something like that. So uh, it's, it's good fun when we're, when we're actually in a group, a group setting. So, all right. This, is, uh, this one's for radio. This one's for radio. Brian, thank you for asking. Yeah, it's radio, and it's a uh, it's a program called Gakushu Dajio or Gakushu Ego. Um, it's, it's one I've been doing for many years, and actually, the, the name changed. Um, the content didn't really change, but the name changed. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. Thank you for joining. It was a short one. I uh, just wanted to uh, get our round seven up from uh, Roasted Coffee Laboratory. Lots of experimental stuff going on in there. So, when you're in Shibuya, add that to your list. We've got a growing list of coffee places and there's more stuff coming up. I'm gonna be doing uh, some other stuff aside from coffee and we'll get a, a other series going. So stay tuned and thank you. We'll be in touch very soon. Don't forget about John's fireworks coming up this weekend. And I'll see you in the skies above Yamanashi. So. Bye. Ciao, guys. Take care. Spin you around here. Thanks, everybody. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. To Otaku. You're so, you're like a mother. I got it right here. Got my mask. Thank you for reminding me. They would, they would remind me as soon as I got to the door, I promise you. We all have to have masks on and they, they uh, check your temperature. So, <laughs> all right, enough of my talking. So long from Shibuya. Talk to you soon.